fantastic friends and coin collectors, I do hope you're all okay on this fantastic day wherever you are in the coin tube verse. Today we're going to do a painting that I put a picture on, a very similar one, on Instagram and it went amazing and people loved it so we're going to do it for you guys. Now this is the original painting, this is not the exact copy that we're going to do, this is, this is one that I've already done and we're going to do a version of this, I just want to show you how it's made. So... Big old canvas, covered in liquid white, mast off, border mast off, we're ready to rock and roll. So Prussian blue, Prussian blue on the on the one inch brush and we're just going to punch her in some bits of sky into a, a cloudy background. I hope you're all doing fantastic on this wonderful day, such a wonderful day. I hope it is wherever you are. So there, some dots of Prussian blue on the one inch brush now with a, a dry, make sure it is dry, two inch brush, we're, we're, we're coming in and we're blending all this together, so we're being pretty firm with the brush, just a bit of pressure, side to side strokes up and down, crisscrossing, and we can smooth all this out till you can't see where one colour starts and the other colour stops, the colours being Prussian blue and white obviously. And we can just blend and blend and blend. Now I have it 250 subs so there will be an amazing giveaway. Well I hope it's amazing. I think it's amazing. An amazing giveaway soon. Very soon hopefully. Where you can win lots of paintings and lots of coins. And have lots of good times. So happy days for that. So do stick around for that at some point. My fantastic friendos. So here we go. We're just swirling the sky up making irregular patterns and there we have it there we have a nice blended sky so bit of white on the brush and we're going to use the top corner and we're going to put some clouds in and we're not going to go over the dark spots in the in the sky or intentionally go over the dark spots we're going to go over the white spots where they meet the dark spots if that makes sense and we keep the brush moving all the time not in one place, we just want to put nice little clouds in the sky, so let's keep the brush moving, if we keep it in one space we'll end up basically blending out a big cotton ball, and we don't want that, we just want nice little tiny cloudy shapes up here in the sky, and we're going to have the mountains obviously in the middle ground, and a bit more clouds, and then mountains in the foreground and some more clouds so this is a real good picture if you want to practice making clouds and mountains and it's kind of neat as well I painted that original picture for my brother he, he, he really got excited and he says can you paint me just a mountain in the sky he says aye of course I can lad if you can keep your eye out for some coins for me anyhow big dry brush and we're going to just blend out the base of these clouds. Now we're not touching the sharp top corners of these uh, these uh, cloudy things. We're just blending out the bottom here. Just like so. Using a bit of firm pressure. And then lightly, lightly fluff them up, lift them up. No pressure at all. No pressure at all here. Side to side, just take out the tap marks, brush marks. There we go. Whoop, bit of focus in. Put another little cloud in. Same again. Top corner of the brush, circular pattern. Be irregular. Be crazy with this. You could be crazy on here. You could be crazy on this canvas. Get the dry brush out. Just the base of the cloud, and we. We stir that right into the painting, right into the liquid white, so slowly stir, and lift up, lift up, fluff up, there we go, we might paint over that one, we might not, but we know it's there, and it's practice isn't it, right, so, palette knife, bit of dark colour, so dark colour mixed from uh, blues, crimsons, blacks, the usual suspects really, and we're just going to put some mountains in. 
nice big old mountain range all the way across the canvas side to side right so all we're concerned about is the top edge couldn't care less about what's happening underneath that top edge it's just the top edge of the mountain that I'm bothered about yes it's a fairly warm day where we are and I hope it is where you are as well there we go and you can make these mountain shapes any shape you want apart from circular I've never seen a round mountain but I suppose there is round mountain somewhere so dry brush and we're just gonna pull the paint in two directions so the left side and the right side of the mountain as we're looking at it and this removes the excess paint and it also sort of like gives us an idea of where we're going to put the highlights and shadows there we go easy peasy isn't it and we need to create some fog and mist and pollution all down at the bottom so by doing this by having the liquid white on the canvas it's easy right so some highlight colour so I've mixed a bit of highlight colour with white and brown and the brown is burnt umber it's a lovely rich browny colour and we just lightly graze the canvas just lightly graze see we're using a firm paint so we don't want to apply too much pressure if we apply too much pressure we'll end up just putting a block of colour in there and we don't want that not on this just a nice light touch will enable the paint to break just like so just like so how do you enjoy the spacey painting anyway a lot of you seem to like that so I might put that in the giveaway maybe let me know and the other one the big one that I sent to Christopher how did you like that one that was a stunner eh so yep yeah, we're just gonna just drop some highlights in again off white colour with a brown mixed in with it create all sorts of nice little uh, rocky mountain scenes there we go there we go so there we've got a major part of his highlights on his uh, on his right hand side and because I'm right handed it is easier to to paint the highlights I'll paint the other mountain range with the the uh, the shadows I'll put them in first I think so the shadow colour is again it's just that same off-white colour made with the burnt umber and the brown uh, sorry the white with a bit of blue mixed in with it and I'm not over mixing the paint on the palette I'm leaving it slightly marbled and so you get different variations of paint and again every peak will need a shadow so you just sneak in there and we'll use the small edge of the knife I think just to sneak in this bit just like so as I said before, the the knife blade itself is about an inch, inch in width, and the small side is probably about half inch or so. So you can really sneak in. Inch, what's that? Two and a half centimeters into half inch is uh, twelve centimeter, uh, twelve mil. So two and a half centimeters, inch. Yep. <laughs> That's been a long day. Been a long warm day great so shadows get them shadows slapped in just like so every highlight needs a shadow every shadow needs an highlight or it won't come out and play with you that's the golden rule and for this one we'll do this one and this one just like so just like so There 
Let's pull out some more in. So let's just resharpen this edge. And I've come in here with just pure white now. So that'll uh, stand out even more. Just like so. If, uh, um, if you can hear the the car's going past it's because it's an awfully hot day and I have to open the windows and if you can hear somebody's telly in the background I think it's <laughs> from the dear old next door she's slightly deaf bless her that's because of many years of putting up with me singing my songs which um, I've been told I'm not allowed to do anymore <laughs> anyhow let's get putting some of these highlights on so we're just re-firming this, this zigzaggy edge. You don't want two flat sides of a mountain. You want, you want it to have some character and some style and, and take your eye for a wonder. Yeah. And this one, don't leave this one out. There we go. So you don't want to kill all your dark areas. You don't want to kill all your shadows. And you don't want to kill all your highlights. You just want a nice... A nice balance, a yin and yang balance, and you can play with this as much as you want. You can come back in here and tickle some more up, add some more highlights in, add some more shadows in, as long as it looks right and it breaks by leaving the, the small little little black parts underneath, just like so. Great. Big brush. Bit of white on the brush here. And we're tapping away. We're tapping away. We're creating some clouds at the bottom of these mountains. And we're tapping. You can see how I'm tapping there. And we're going to the shadow. And we'll tap up in the shadow. And we're tapping the highlight. And we're blending it all together. And what this will create is the the, the mountain will seem like it's floating in the clouds so there's a lot of mist and fog and steam and all sorts of things happening down there in the base of the mountain up the sides of the mountain there dry brush now and we'll bring it all together we'll bring it all together gently go up we don't want to really diffuse much of that mountain, you just want to diffuse the base of it really. Don't knock the canvas over. Right, let's take some of this highlight colour and bring this one, this peak, slightly down in front into the cloud itself. We might do this one as well. There we go. Just to create a bit of diffusion in that flat line. Do this one, a bit of shadow under this one, on this side. Now on that big peak, I've got a big sharp line. So let's just hit that with the brush. And it goes away. Just like so. Just like so. Easy peasy, magic, eh? Everything lives in your brush. You've just got to scare it out. Right, fan brush. Both sides full of white paint. And I'm just pushing up on the fan. So I'm hitting it at the side. And I'm pushing up slightly. I'm not allowing the brush to slide. I'm not painting paint on. I'm just pushing. And I'm quickly quickly doing this. And I'm not spending too long in one place. And wherever a cloud will be. That's where it lives. So that's that's what we'll do. Just like so. And a dry brush. Let's diffuse the base of those clouds. And mist them up. Mist, I said mist. Swear down, I said mist them up. <laughs> Just like so. Fluff them, lift them up. And it brings it all together. It brings it all together. Happy days. And you can add as many layers of this as you want, or as few if you want. And you can uh, you can really create some really good effects. Now, pull the paint out, cut across a little bit of a roll on the end of the knife, and let's put the middly ground 
mountains in. Uh, I can't remember how many I painted on the original painting, five or six or something like that. It, it, it doesn't matter. This is a smaller canvas than what I painted on the, uh, the, the picture I painted for my brother. So we'll not get as many in. But it, as long as it's a nice number uh, that looks right, if uh, like I've uh, talked to you guys before about odd numbers, and odd numbers work well, so two doesn't work well. If you paint two trees, it dif distracts your eyes, and if you paint three trees or three mountain peaks or three lines in a space uh, painted, that looks a lot better. Now, when you get to a certain number, your eyes go all over the place anyway, and you can't count. So if you paint twenty or or whatever. Uh, anyhow, I'm grabbing it on. Let's get back to the painting. So, dry brush. Let's pull out. Let's pull out the mountain. And again, just like the bigger ones in the background, we're shaping the mountain. We're removing excess paint. It gives us a bit of an idea where we're going to lay as highlights and as shadows. And we just missed them out, just like so. So, like I said, we'll put the the shadow colour on this time first and I don't like doing this, it, it feels really odd to me but so the shadow colour just blue a touch of brown and a touch of white and what you end up getting or what I end up getting, I don't know if it's just me is, uh, is a straight line down the middle of the mountain as you're looking at it and it's like somebody's chopped the mountain in half it, it, it sort of distracts me that's not what you're after. That's not what you're after at all. So you come back in with a bit of highlight and we can zigzag all that straight line up and, and make it look a little bit more more rough and ready. So again back to the original mountain colour uh, highlight colour should I say and look like that we're just wobbling the highlight side of the mountain this time. Same on this one. Wobble him in. So you're not creating a straight flat line. I mean sometimes there are mountains that are like that or if you were to paint the pyra pyramids or something along those lines they have straight flat lines. Um, but they're man made. I suppose there will be a few out there that I like this but aesthetically speaking this zigzaggy edge is what we're after so this is the, the browns and the whites mixed together not overly mixed give a nice marbly colour and we'll come back in at some point and put put white over top of that lot just to give it a bit of a sparkle get this little one done zoom there we go and we'll just pull it out there we go so we'll come back in straight white titanium white or titanium and we'll just give a few of those peaks a little sparkle give them some magic just like so so then you're not you're not using just one flat colour to create these mountains since the mountains are the only thing you'll see you need to give them a bit of variety you see sneak in there big old knife like this it takes a few minutes not long at all not long at all. There we go. There we go. Great. Bit of white on the brush, not much. And I'm just going to bring these clouds around these mountains, these individual little mountains. I'm just tap in again. There's a tiny bit of white on there. We'll come back in here and hit it with a dry brush at some point. We're just diffusing the base so it, it, it looks like it's sitting. Look, the, the individual little mountainy things are, are sitting in the clouds. So they're just 
prodding through the the, the cloud really if you could imagine you're on a plane and you're flying over the, the Pyrenees or Switzerland or somewhere like that or the Andes or something like that that's what it looks like <laughs> too much paint on the brush there so I've hit the white a bit too much there but there's no problem there's no problem we can fix that may sell me white the uh, the brush on the the, the tissue that I've, I've taped the the canvas so we'll come back in here just keep tapping keep tapping really I'd like a drummer and it'll go away just like so <laughs> sneaky yeah they'll go away and leave you if you keep tapping it <laughs> right fan brush plenty of paint just like we did before and we're just hitting from the side and we're lifting up slightly but not allowing the brush to slide at all and this is where we can get crazy we can add all sorts of colors if we wish you know you could you could make your clouds look a bit pink you can make your clouds look a bit blue black you, you know, a sparkle of yellow in there if you wish it's, it's your choice you can do whatever you want on here and then we'll just blend that out and we could add layer after layer after layer if we wish as well there we go one thing I must ask you guys have you found any good coins lately on one of my last videos I've I've found that many coins I'm, I've started to fill an album up which I'm quite excited and I'm really really gonna blast through this I think I'll get stuck on one or two coins as everybody does apart from total but uh, you, you know it, where there's a will there's a way and they're only found in shops that's how I'm planning on doing it let's add another little bit here a bit more paint on brush helps what I've done is tiny tiny touch of uh, of blue paint just underneath the cloud so it'll look a little bit more like a shadow against dance the brush about And yeah, the 250 subscriber giveaway. I want to give a thank out to all my coin tubery mates that have helped me get there. I really appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate every one of my happy friends that has that has subscribed to me. Fantastic times, absolutely fantastic times. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So the giveaway will be soon. I promise you that. I promise you that. This is a dry fan brush and I'm just mixing the colours together. I'm just tapping again, allowing them to diffuse together. It looked a bit too strong for me, that. And that's sneaking here with the fan brush. Again, we're. if you get used to the equipment, make friends with the brushes and the knives and the paints, you can... See, all we've used is a couple of brushes, a palette knife, and a couple of colours. Well, four colours, four or five colours. And we can do it. We can do it. You can do it. Show me what you've done. I'd love to see what you've done on Instagram. Master Temple. There we go. Just put a bit more blue in that one, just to, to set it off. bit of a bit of highlight shadow color if that makes sense right so paint thinner bright red script brush let's sign this one let's sign this one down in the bottom left corner happy days let's whip the masking tape off let's whip the uh, the tissue off big brush time whoop there we go how about that eh focusing camera how about that so this is how we did the original uh, this is a a, a a loose copy of the original I just wanted to perform for you 
If you like it, guys, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, you know all that lot. Fantastic times. So I'll see you all later. Take care. Happy days, my friends. Happy days.